Lays it off to Lamb. His left side, probing kick. It'll go through for another one. I was a mad West Perth supporter and um, I was a mad, uh, probably Mel Winnan uh, supporter and didn't miss many West Perth games. And then being in the Subi district, uh, I came up through them and I think it was early on that I probably played on a, a Les Fong, who was one of my heroes, and he gave me a clip behind the ear, and uh, then I was a good, and then I was a Subi man from then on. But yeah, they were um, tough days back then in Subi. We battled to win a game, and I think my making of me was I played in the back pocket, and the ball was down there for um, three quarters of the game, so I got to see plenty of ball. I suppose that I look back on it now and think it might have been the making of me. Certainly, when Bunce got here, he had. Uh, you know, Bunce had a different way about him, how he coached, and you know, a wonderful coach, wonderful record. Bunce gave me that free roaming role where I didn't have to really play on anybody, and I, the, the plum positions, so that was a, a wonderful start. Don't take it out on me, don't let me down. Yeah, I was probably 26, so I was sort of starting to get on in years, so given the Eagles hadn't have started, then yeah, I probably wouldn't have got the opportunity to play in the AFL. And I had, had some discussions with Carlton sort of a couple of years earlier, but didn't quite work out to me anything. But, um, uh, yeah, it was wonderful, you know, and uh, to be involved with the club from the start is just, uh, you know, wonderful memories. It was hard, but it was just, it was new and it was, uh, you were pioneers, I suppose. Well, he defied the critics. I mean, so many people felt that he may not have, may not have been able to uh, play VFL, AFL, but he, uh, he proved the point. You know, he was uh, a great team player and, uh, and ended up a great player. And, uh, look, men like that, you know, they're pretty valuable to have on a team that they're prepared to sacrifice their game for the team and he was one of those men. I suppose there's a number of guys that I probably played pretty well against and you know, probably Greg Williams is probably as big as anybody that, against Sydney and Carlton and I played on him. He had a bit of a mean streak so I, I copped a few along the way and that's I wouldn't call when he caught probably three or four weeks for a belt me one incident and he thinks I'd sort of done a bit of ball tampering which uh, he had to come up with some reason but uh, not the case. Number five, Dwayne Lamb. Extremely disappointing when we lost in 91 and to get there in 92 I think you appreciate it that much more but it was, um, uh, yeah, it was a, you know, I would have loved to have been Pete Matera, sort of, uh, you know, Norm Smith and uh, kick a bag off the wing but, uh, you know, I, sorry, I did my bit and it's a team game and it was a great result and my only regret was probably I went a bit too hard too quick afterwards and uh, the hangover was a little bit too strong the next day. I think comms is an amazing thing. When you get confidence up, you uh, you can reach new heights. Perhaps he's not as quick as some, certainly not as tall as many. Um, the next mark he takes over his head will be his first. And uh, But I wouldn't have him any other way.